so I genuinely have not been as excited about the World Wide Web as I am today since I was in 1995 20 years ago my god since or when I made my first web page and that was the excitement then for me was that someone who was not a programmer I'm not a programmer could use simple straightforward markup to create and publish a page to this incredible thing called the internet that anyone could then view and examine the code of it was magical it really was and now 20 years later here we are with the ability to create and publish and share 3D virtual reality web pages with simple markup again thanks to a thing called A-Frame an open source framework for easily creating web VR experiences with HTML essentially markup for virtual reality I don't really understand much about web VR I know that MozVR who create this are the same guys as create the Firefox browser so it's going to be around for a while essentially the this thing is the building blocks for building the virtual reality web and I'd seen this a few weeks ago but I didn't realize how straightforward it was until I read the road to VR blog great blog for people interested in virtual reality they did an interview with some of the guys behind this thing and they just give us some example code like this so you can literally and I'll put a link to this blog page below the video you can literally just copy that and paste it into your notepad a few lines of markup that's all it is and now I'm going to save this to my Dropbox um, folder which is the easiest way for me to publish it to the web of course you can publish it any way you like but Dropbox is really easy so I created a, a folder called a frame and I'm going to call this index.html save it and now I can go to my a frame folder in Dropbox and you'll see that the the file is there which means it should have been uploaded to my Dropbox and there it is just after coming in so the way Dropbox is set up now if you click on that it just shows up it doesn't really show up in a frame like this but the way to get around that is to go up to the URL and replace the www with dl just dl and take off this bit oops sorry don't take off that bit just leave that at the end make sure it ends in the HTML hit return oh I think this might be because I had a different page there prior to this so let me go back here click on this again refresh this ah sorry what you do is you click on share you get the URL this way that's the actual URL for sharing that page now I'm going to paste that in here and this is what I wanted to delete that bit at the end beyond the HTML and go back here again and replace the www with DL I guess for download click on return and now I've got a 3D web page a virtual reality web page in fact so I'm just holding down the left mouse button and moving it around there to circulate around this 3D model now if I was to click on the pair of goggles here it would tell me first of all that I don't, I don't have a browser that supports web VR but really what I'm trying to do by clicking on this is connecting to an oculus rift headset which we actually have but most people don't have those yet um, so you think okay that's that's where I'm stuck so but no if you actually open up this page now on your Android phone with an up-to-date Chrome br Chrome browser so just send this link here to yourself via uh, instant message or email 
or I use push bullet here whatever means get that onto your phone open up that link on your phone and you'll see first of all you'll just see this in your Chrome browser and the cool thing is when you move around your phone uh, your accelerometer or gyroscope whichever sensor inside in the phone um, detects the movement and moves around the model like this and you'll see a pair of goggles as well of course and if you click on it on the phone it instantly changes it to a, a Google Cardboard compatible um, view and it works it works and I was really excited about that when I saw that uh, thanks to the article on Road to VR and it's great it's that easy then to just create yourself and get started with uh, a virtual reality scene using HTML so that's all I just wanted to I guess highlight my excitement about this and hope that other people are getting equally excited that we now have the start of 3D virtual reality web that's that easy to get into.